Hey there guys, Big Time Airsoft here, back with another video. Um, today we're going to be discussing stock straight triggers. Like this one right here on the EMG slash Sharp Bros uh, Helos AEG rifle. PDW length, by the way. Sent to me by Bo, um, who is one of my subscribers. So, you probably are on e-bike or Airsoft GI or wherever you're buying your Airsoft gun. And you see he has a straight trigger and you just watch your speed softing videos and you see them doing this, you know, they go like, and the gun shooting extremely fast, almost seems like full auto. Um, but then you get yours and you do this or like, you know, middle finger it. And it's just going like, pew, 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 you know, I don't know what that sound was, but uh, it, <laughs> it's not as fast as the people we see on YouTube. Um, so just, I'm just going to warn you in this video, basically, just before you buy any AEG, um, off of the Airsoft market, uh, whether it be Evike or Airsoft GI, just note that the straight trigger, um, will not be determining how fast you shoot on semi. Uh, but I will be telling you what will. So it's always good to actually start with an AEG with a straight trigger like this, just so you, you can save your time you can save yourself some time um, and not have to buy another trigger if you have a curved one or something. Uh, so one of the reasons their guns shoot like that is because they do something called fine tuning the trigger. Uh, what that means is they go inside of here, which is the gearbox, and they take the trigger itself out and they file it down so it gets closer to the uh, so the trigger gets closer to the, uh, what's it? The little chip that, you know, reads that you're pulling the trigger. And so it gets closer to that, so it can be like a little bit quicker. Also, they usually upgrade their gearboxes uh, just to make it faster, you know, more snappy response. Uh, stock gearboxes or usually don't come like that. So yeah, just be expecting a snappy response, but not as snappy as you could get. Uh, Another thing is they could be running an HPA. If you're running an HPA, typically your gun can do that pretty easily because um, it's air, it's shooting air. So, you know, it'll do that pretty, pretty easily. Um, but yeah, just a, a short video um, on that just before, you know, you probably buy your CQB gun and it has a straight trigger and you're like, oh, I'm gonna be out there like, no, you're not. Um, I mean, you can do this, you can do this pretty fast. You can go like, pretty fast but you're not gonna be able to really fast so yeah just letting you guys know before you buy any rifle with a straight trigger I knew that before I actually asked the guy to send me this um, I knew it wasn't gonna be responding like that so I wasn't really mad when I got it um, I'm just warning you guys because I saw a couple people complaining on YouTube like they got their guns and they were like why can't I do that and I'm like okay I gotta make a video on this so here's the video for it I've not seen very many videos I could be mistaking, but I've seen very many videos like that on YouTube um, that talk about stock straight triggers and why they don't shoot as fast as upgraded guns. Uh, so I decided, you know, I was going to make one. And here it is. So yeah, basically that's all you really need to know. Um, the reason your gun's not shooting like that stock is because it's not upgraded and you don't really have like the, it doesn't have the, the parts to do that. Um, it's just a stock internal gearbox that's going to be snappy but not that snappy unless you upgrade it so yeah i hope you found this video helpful on the straight trigger here and why it is not responding like your cool speed qb players that play in the tournaments and all that uh yeah so with uh with further ado uh please like comment subscribe um share the video if you could I mean, it would help. Uh, and yeah, Big Time Airsoft, out.